we are back again and don't mind how we look yes i know you look a little wild but anyway in these uncertain times just want everybody to be safe right now and you know key ahead up there is light at the end of the tunnel and you know everybody right now sending around everything if you haven't got the proof of it don't send it wrong you know that would just help ease the mind of other people this video is basically going to be about we trusted a little single cam and basically a watch of beer and how my car get to the point it's at today back in 2016 ended up in a couple of accidents which obviously the first car was totaled second one i believe it could have come back but i did not bother with it and then i ended up buying this white car so i bought the car uh the other car that I had got totaled the second one really um i had ordered a my vet engine to put in it it just so happened that that got written off and i then already still had the engine on order the white car then obviously got that engine so anyway i bought the car brought it home and everything and of course it was just sitting for a while because I had to wait on it to arrive in Barbados really so the engine that I got with was a 4G92 RS engine so it's basically a higher spec than the normal Myvets so got the engine and everything put it in lights and it and I was doing road i did a couple of drag sessions i uh, mean why not put up a car why not enjoy it my first drag session i went to it was a practice the car did a, a 9.7 so it was a like, cool no problem that easy the actual event came around eventually and i went and i did it also so on doing the event, I then um, I had used slits when I did the event, so that surprisingly brought the time down to around 9.4 seconds in the air for mile. Well, after I saw a guy selling a 4G93 1800 turbocharged engine, so one day I just decided, you know what, man, because it was. Trying to decide, should I buy this or should I not buy this? Eventually, I decided, man, man, I gonna buy this. So I went, bought it, brought it home. Cool, no problem, that easy. The next day, I had just bought a diagnostic tool. So I went, just checking certain things on my car, making sure the diagnostic tool working perfectly, that kind of stuff. So it was an unfortunate situation. Now, the day I decided to go and buy the 1800 engine, my 1600, my vet engine, not. I don't know if it was jealousy or what, but I don't know. But it just decided down with this. So it was like, all right, cool, no problem, that easy. So thankfully, the second vehicle that I had, which was also called, this engine was in it so it just worked out perfectly that i then had this engine and was able then to take this engine and put it into the white car because then the car wasn't down or anything so for a long major time i was still able to drive out my car like normal just with less power it's ain't that bad of a thing i then decided well 1800 my vet head i mean why not my first plans for the car was really just forge rods and stop pistons stop head everything and go back up that was the plan on acquiring the forge rods i then realized that mitsubishi they don't use fully floating gacha paints they use semi floating i then had to get fully floating pistons that then end up being another expense that i honestly didn't have much plans on doing it but it was a well, i at this point anyway 
I bought some pistons. I ordered some pistons. I went to Ross Racing Pistons. Sent in the pistons. I told them what I was looking to do. My plans for the car. Everything. So they did their part. I did partly my part. And that was that. Obviously, first thing they wanted to know what kind of compression that I was looking at. Now, this obviously was a big debate between me and some friends that was you know, that I was in contact with while I was looking to build this engine. Everybody was telling me, well, do 12 to 1, do 12 to 1, but or 13. But my major thing was, you know, Barbados gas seemed the best. So, I don't really want to go up in there. I'm going back at the standard compression, 11 to 1. But eventually one day, I just decided, you know what, man, nah, man. I could do the, I could at least do the 12 to 1. In terms of gas and that kind of thing, I literally don't have no issues with gas. None. That would then come down to tune. After some research, checking around and comparing and all that kind of stuff i then decided i going with hard tech i had originally decided to do to go with the hard tech elite 1500 but eventually i decided i would just do the hard tech elite 1000 first time i had put out the engine mind you this was the first engine that i had ever rebuilt in my life i made a colossal mistake I did not do the conversion from foot pounds to newtometers or newtometers to foot pounds, whatever the case is. And I had taught the, the main crankshaft bolts too tight. So after the engine was finished, built, put up and in the car, I then ended up having to pull it back out because it had not. Anyway, I rebuilt it again and whoa, I rebuilt it again and oh shoot, That's, that is horrible, oh jeez, oops, can I fix it out properly, yeah, so I'll get to that shortly. So I had rebuilt the my vet again, 1800, and went back up and everything. And then for my viewers who more so in this racing scene, Fabian is who had shown my car. Anyway, tuned it the first time and everything, everything was fine. My clutch decided it wasn't working with me. Anyway, that was another story so that clutch was dead it was also a brand new clutch anyway i actually had a, a clutch at home that was in my car from before and i put it back in first time i had get the car tuned i didn't have any white band or anything so he had used the uh, i'm not sure of the correct name for it but it's kind of like a probe that went inside of the exhaust that would give him not as accurate reading as needed but a reading for the air fuel, air fuel ratio while he was tuning it wasn't a, the best tune but a tune that could have worked for what he had at the time after the clutch went the race day and everything i then get the white van i went back for a proper tune amazingly the my vet wasn't working by the way, this is by no fault Fabian's that the Movet wasn't working. It was actually because of the uh, diagram we were using that had come with the, the management. They give a wrong wiring output for where we were going to put the Movet. So that ended up being an issue. No big issue or anything, but anyway, we that was the reason the Movet wasn't working. So Movet working now, a proper tune, and I could not believe that this was the same car. This was no a car that I could work with. I had got call on plug setup put in, I had get flat shift put in, 
first event out now, everything working good. And to my surprise, from doing a 9.4, the lowest with the 1600 my vet, I then got down to 9.0 with the 1800 my vet. But I was saying, man, I feel this car got a little more in it. I feel it got the same more in it. So um, I think I had, I think Fabian had uh, went back to the tune a little bit, a couple of times or whatever the case is, and got a little more refined tune, which worked out perfectly because when then I ended up getting down into 8.9 everyone was of the opinion that there's no way a my vet should be doing those kind of times unless it had to be on the bottle but well, of course it was like you know if everybody feels so well why not feel it so I feel it tell everybody yes or most people yes on the bottle because I mean why not where this car is at, at this point I for the life of me was not expecting it to be where it is no as for this engine now after the 18 my vet had 17 this kind of got neglected just like the Lanza I just took it out brought it down here and I you know, look back at it for about two years. I unfortunately did, didn't even cover it over or anything either. Suppose they needed to, you know, revert back to this engine for whatever reason. And I got it down here, you know, full of water. Cylinder walls rusted, all kind of foolishness. I get and do. That is why I am. Um, disassembling it now. Full turn. Piston coming completely up now. So now we can finally take out this piston. That's cylinder number one. It ain't too bad. Number two. Again, actually very good. Can still see the cross hatching from factory. And number three. And then number four, which is what the one that had all the water in it. Hopefully it ain't cause too much damage. Could just do a little cylinder rehorn with that and that good to go. As for the same, I'm going to put the cylinder on the head. As you can see, the water get there for sure. Being the valve was open, the valves are open. And get straight empty cylinder. But this side is not going to be used either way. Again, something I neglected. The 1800 head that came off of the block which is in my car at the moment. I will be putting this head on the block, the single cam block that I had just pulled down. So that is all for today. I'm not sure what will be the next video as we're on the 24 hour curfew. So you can't go anywhere, can't buy anything. So, I will see if I can find something else to do in the meantime to help not only keep me active, but give somebody something else to do also. I got some time consuming to watch more, so, so until next time, thanks for watching.